I thought we would be a lot better, but we were not. <laughs> we were outskilled pretty much everywhere. Fitness and just offensively, we just, we run around, but we have no roles. We just, we get a little confused, a little panicky. Um, and just, yeah, it's tough. Yeah. It's a league where we play basketball every week and there are standings. The standings don't mean much, everyone still gets the prescribed amount of games. Uh, it's just a shame of losing. Yeah. So, yeah. It's sad, I only remember the wins. I know it's a lot less wins. It's two to eight or two to seven or something. But it's two wins and maybe eight losses. Um, actually, it's borderline one win because they forfeited for one of them. Uh, but the day we won, I didn't sleep till like 4 a.m. because I was just so hyped. It's kind of like the closest we're gonna get to like some combat or something like a battle. And it was just like a different level of high. It lasted for like a week, a whole. It lasted exactly a week because we then lost the next week and then it was gone. So yeah, it was really good. I'm definitely not the talent because uh, I'm definitely the best on the team. Let's put it that way. I can sometimes be fast, so I can like hit on the brakes. So if we get the ball quickly, I can run up quickly. There's six teams. We play each team twice. So we've done all of that and we've finished bottom, uh, which isn't great, clearly. In recent weeks, I've been trying to like cheerlead a bit more, so like be a bit more of a leader, like praising good work because I think you want to build up that morale, basically. Um, so now what our whole goal was to try to get to playoffs. Playoffs is the top four teams, and then the top four teams basically becomes like a semi-final bracket. The remaining two teams, which is us, the Airballers and the Kardashians, we're just gonna play two games, which mean nothing, but it's just to have a bit of fun and, yeah. <laughs> just to make up the numbers, really. It wasn't that good. So like bring it up. Go, no, pass. You passed it, yeah. yeah. Goes around. Okay. Oh. Well, well, well. Ooh. Oh. The scoop. I didn't see it. The ball movement, like, that was good. That was good. Whoa. Yes. Such a cool guy, man. Are we red, yeah? Whoa. I knew I loved football and after doing maths at uni, uh, I started to do a job that was just watching football. And so that was quite interesting. And I was like, well, actually I could do this for a living and hopefully it could be, I could do something like that I'm passionate about as well, rather than like a nine to five where I feel I'm clocking in and out. But where that leads, I'm not too sure. I'm just gonna smack it. It's not a bad area actually. That's, I've got two, so. Oh, what I would suggest is a little, so you leave it here, bounce it, so it's like, it leaves it in this Somewhere, area. Yeah. Or white's gonna stay here, so leave it in the middle. So uh, I work for Bloomberg, but they wanna retire at like 35 or whatever. I like it, they're, they're a good employer, but no matter how well you do or how influential you are or anything, at the end of the day, you're still working a job for someone else. So, quick break, and then bring your index finger here. Yeah. This way. Cool. And then this. And that's, that's the little groove you're using. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I see. All right, cool. I joined Tesco, it was 2014. I left uh, about a year and a bit ago. It was seven years about here and I don't want to be that guy, so. <laughs> I think I had like four, four other people out there for almost seven years and we just left together. 
to be too nice. I need to get a job now, so. <laughs> I met Mr. Bean a couple of times, he was a regular. He wasn't that funny, live. Yeah, he boils onions like a regular man, you know. Jude Law. Uh, the ginger guy from Harry Potter, what's his name? Rupert Grint. I mean, I saw kids grow up there. I was like for almost seven years, so yeah. yeah. Just, at this point, it's just fun. It's like the pressure's gone now. So it's, yeah, it's what is. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'm doing the next two games just on a mini car series. We have, we have, literally, we have two wins, so officially. We have one. It's learning. I think we're learning. I think we, we, we went into it thinking it would be really good. We were not really good. I didn't think we'd be that good. I thought, I thought, no, no, I know, but I thought we'd be decent. I thought we'd be bad team-wise and still win games because we're good. Oh, no. With basketball, even if you miss a couple days, you lose a lot. It's like one of those things where you have to keep on it every day. Just a little bit, not too much, but you have to be on it. And we're not on it, so. Yeah. This time round, we just we just jumped straight into it. You're rusty, no practice, no nothing. Next round, I'm gonna take it serious. I'm lose a little weight, the low fitness, <laughs> and practice, and then yeah, you jump into it. I think Jay's more competitive at everything. I'm selective. Like any low ball game, he's on it. He, he, even like try to cheat a little bit. Uh, as always. <laughs> what what oh what God, just hit me? No, it's this bird. You didn't do anything, man. It was the bird. I've kind of always just been like that. Just would want to be the best at something. I mean, I say that like I'm always the best at stuff. Like quite often I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> you out. Leave me alone, James. James, she has two lives. Did you die? Yeah. How? When you lose, it's just a crushing feeling. And when you win, it's like, can't really be compared to anything else. Is the LinkedIn youngster had revolutionized the world of sandwich filling with an award-winning nutty combination. James Lai of Cardoza Road beat more than 6,000 children to claim second prize in a competition run by High Street Baker's Greg's. You know, I didn't know it was uh, run by Greg's, but that's interesting. Eight-year-old, so that was what, 18 years? Um, the eight-year-old took white bread, smothered it with peanut butter and layers of chicken and tomato to create the mouth-watering masterpiece. He said, I love chicken. <laughs> I do triangle. Perfect. James says he's contemplated career in the kitchen and the keen pizza chef was full of brains for school dinners. They're yummy, he added. Mmm! <laughs> I don't love mine. I might just be hungry, but I've taken a little bit of a break since my last job. Got an interview next Wednesday. I, I knew I wanted a bit of a break because I didn't take one after my master's and I went straight into my last job. So I'm like, I took basically Christmas off and now I'm back applying. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm learning Spanish right now. Uh, es puedo que a uh, tu profesor le gusta tu documental. I hope your professor likes your documentary. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you do start looking, what would you want to do? I have no idea. That's the issue. If I knew, it would be okay. But I have like, no idea. I think I'm going to just jump into something and just hope for the best. Maybe do Jay what did Jay did, just chase money, you know? Uh, I got really sick with like an autoimmune thing. Yeah, it costs like 50 grand a year for these infusions. 
And then after two years, I knew that they weren't helping me. Um, there's a lot of people who take the treatment and just kind of live at maybe 30%. So then you have to kind of look at alternative ways to get healthier. Uh, so that thing's fully gone now. And I basically have this whole thing every day. That's probably also the motivation for like um, getting the job I got and stuff because teaches you that nothing's guaranteed. So it's like, if I have enough to retire, then I don't have to worry about something like that happening again. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I fed in the data from our loop table. So we can see like the standing. So we're bottom with 14 points and our goal difference is ridiculous, like minus 160. And we're, we're the lowest in terms of scoring rate. So our average scoring rate is 16.6, which is the lowest of all the teams. But it doesn't factor in other factors like our improvement, doing some work in between games. Um, and like we're not professional athletes. Like I think our ability to win or lose can drastically change from like really high probability to low, or for our case, low to high. So with this analysis, they're favourites, sadly. I think because our last game and these guys weren't here, it, was quite, it would have been a nice redemption arc to play the Ver Ver Kardashians and win. But they didn't show up and we won this game. So we played and we won and I think, you know, that was good. That was good. <laughs>